Welcome at the course Variational Methods. Distributions. Let us begin with a presentation of the Dirac Delta distribution. Dirac Delta was introduced by Dirac in mathematical modeling of natural phenomena with a source of energy concentrated at a point. Then, delta was determined by the following conditions. Condition 1. Delta of x is 0 everywhere except the point x equals 0. Integral from minus to plus infinity of delta of x equals 1. Clearly, the quantity uh, delta determined by conditions 1 and 2 is not a function on the real uh, line capital R because of the strange condition 2, why delta is not even given at the point x equals to 0. However, as we shall clarify later, it is an original distribution. In spite of, of not clear uh, determination, Dirac's delta is important in description of natural phenomena. It became a reason to develop theory of distributions and to give an exact definition of Dirac's delta, which we write below. Definition in the theory of distributions, Dirac's delta distribution is defined as a functional linear functional with the focus at the point x equals to zero by the following formula. Very simple formula. Delta at the function psi equals the value of the function psi at zero. So, it is for every uh, trial function psi in the class of C0 infinity on the whole real line R. The function, trial functions, is the class infinity times continuously differentiable which vanish at plus and minus infinity. It's, uh, uh, let us observe that from the conditions uh, uh, of the delta Dirac given in the heuristic uh, description of delta, uh, delta was not given at point zero. But now this fact we have underlined in this definition that the value of the delta at the uh, trial is the value of the trial function at zero. Let us now show that Dirac's delta, defined by that uh, uh, formula, this one, is the, the distribution in the sense of the following definition. So, straightforward definition of delta Dirac, that uh, uh, delta at uh, psi equals the value of function psi at zero, is the original distribution in the sense of definition which is uh, from definition from the more general uh, definition given by Schwarz. Schwarz definition of distribution on the real uh, space R. We have introduced the Rag delta definition by this form to say again for every trial function. So now we show that Dirac's delta defined by this very formula is the distribution in the sense of the following definition. A linear functional f at psi defined on the class trial function C0 infinity on AB said to be distribution in the interval a, b, if and 
only if if for uh, the support S of the tri trial function Psi which is subset of the of interval AB of the test function, support of the test function, there exists constant capital K okay, such that the absolute value of the functional is less than the value of the constant, generic constant K times the supremum of the trial function psi on the support S for every trial function psi. So again to say here the, the class of trial function psi C0 infinity is the class of all infinitely uh, differentiated function in the interval AB which vanish together with all derivatives at the ends of the interval AB at the ends AB of the interval AB. <coughs> now let us clarify what we understand by support of a function. The subset S, which is subset of the open interval AB, that is important, is the support of the test function Psi. We, we write S equals the set of all X in the interval AB for the function Psi is not zero and we take closure of the Set. So support is a compact set, is a closed set. And the closed set is, uh, is the subset of the open interval. That is important of preservation. It means that uh, at the ends of the interval, the trial functions are zero uh, together with derivatives. They vanish at the small uh, neighborhood of the boundary. Observe that the linear functional is the mapping of the trial functions to the real line capital R. Now let us show that Dirac's delta is distribution in the sense of the above definition. Indeed, delta is a linear functional since what this means? Since delta of the linear combination is linear combination of deltas. In the, really, we see, if we take a lin, uh, linear combination as uh, lambda one, number lambda 1 times psi 1, lambda 2, psi 2, that by the definition of the delta distribution in, 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 uh, given above, is the value of the argument at the point 0. That means this is the argument of delta at the point zero. But again, by the definition of delta, psi at two at zero, sorry, psi one at zero, is delta psi one of psi one, which is here. And again, psi two at zero, by the definition of delta, is the value of delta at psi two. So the linear com delta of linear combination is linear or combination of delta. It is linear functional for every uh, number lambda 1, lambda 2 and trial function psi 1, psi 2. Also delta satisfies the inequality. It's clear that by the definition absolute value of delta is absolute value of the trial function of the argument psi at 0. But the value at 0, absolute value of 0 is less or equal than supremum of all values of the trial function. So maximum of function, uh, the, all values of functions, including zero, does not exceed the, um, the greatest value, the maximum of all possible values, when that is over the support, of course. The constant k from this inequality, this obvious inequality, it's clearly 1. We have here 1. So for every Psi we have the inequality. So that uh, Delta Dirac is the distribution in the Schwarz definition we have uh, 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 stated above. Good. Approximation of the Dirac's Delta distribution. 
So the uh, intuition uh, leads us to that that the uh, that um, heuristic definition of the this delta distribution has also some justification in approximation of delta. Name. Delta Dirac distribution is the limit of the sequence of the following functions. Delta n at x equals 0 everywhere out of the interval minus 1 over n plus over n, but in the interval is n over 2. It's a sequence. Infinite sequence. We have graph of this sequence. So between minus 1 and 1 is n over 2. So the field the, uh, the measure of that area is 1 because n over 2 divided by uh, the, the base is uh, also 2 over n is 1. We see uh, more if we have here for n, then we have for n over uh, twice greater n, n uh, over 2n, so it's higher, higher. When n tends to infinity, that tends to uh, this interval minus n over uh, 1 over n minus 1 over n tends to 0, but the value ex escapes to the infinity. So this is the sequence which approximates the Dirac's delta. So again to observe that the area of the, uh, the under the graph of the function, which is uh, we know that uh, this is integral from minus to plus infinity because delta is n over 2 the value, so then n over 2 we can take from well, that, that is clear that the integral is 1 because it is n over 2 times the length of the interval which is uh, 1 over n minus minus 1 over 2 over 1 which is 1 for all n. So it's a stationary sequence. The, then stationary sequence tends to 0. So that we know this fact that limit of that uh, integrals is uh, the, 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 in the limit we have uh, uh, delta of x and it is stationary sequence is convergent and the limit equals 1. Here we cannot enter with delta under integral. That is the fact. That is Fubini theorem from mathematical analysis that that con convergence is in the sense of the integrals. That is important to know. Now that this, uh, to show that this uh, uh, limit is the, uh, uh, the the distribution in the sense of the uh, above definition. So if we take this limit with the trial function as the integral delta of n of x times trial function, that it will be limit. Delta is n over 2, we have n over 2, we remain with psi of x dx in the interval minus 1 over n plus 1 over n. But this integral by uh, the mean value theorem for integrals, we will apply the mean value theorem for integrals, one can observe that there exists a point psi in this interval, psi a, depends on x, so uh, that, that, uh, that in, uh, psi n such that that uh, integral, this integral, is the value of the function at psi n. But psi is in the interval, minus 1 over n plus over n. So if n tends to infinity, then psi tends to 0 for every test function psi. Because test function psi is 0, then the limit is psi of 0. Because that, that limit of this is, is this. We have a limit of this psi tends to 0. So this is f i and this is delta of x. So that is really approximation, approximation of the delta distribution we have uh, uh, clarified. Uh, and there is other other sequences uh, one can uh, find, which are convergent to to the uh, Dirac uh, delta. Good. This text will be available on the free available on the uh, page, uh, on the my page uh, uh, WordPress. Good. We have uh, also shifted the, uh, the distribution. This can be read in the text. 
uh, yeah, that uh, if we if we shift the the, the, the distribution from the uh, focus at origin to a point x zero, then of course we have the same facts we we can establish about the shifted uh, Dirac uh, delta distribution. Now. We have, next time uh, we shall uh, see uh, uh, some um, fundamental uh, formula for the uh, delta distribution. Thank you.